Welcome to the Canadian Aviation Museum here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Uh, my name is Richard Fox and behind me is the mosquito, the Haviland mos mosquito that we're building here. We're building from scratch. Uh, we have approximately 8,000 or so prints on hand and thousands of photographs, drawings and other articles uh, that we use in the construction of this plane. In this, uh, in this view here, we're looking at the uh, port side of the uh, de Havilland Mosquito here at uh, Canadian Aviation Windsor. Um, it's a good view of the uh, landing gear uh, and the uh, engine bearers. Uh, the engine bearers the, in, in green uh, are original. Um, uh, they've been inspected and uh, eddy current, magnafluxed, and, uh, and are good to go. Uh, the landing gear, uh, pretty much most of that was made here, uh, including the knuckles. All the tubing has been replaced. The hydraulic cylinder, you can see, that's also been rebuilt here, and we've used modern uh, seals for that. Uh, and they've been tested as well, and uh, we've been successful with moving the gear up and down, so it's quite satisfied with that. In this view, we can see the, the uh, back of the uh, mosquito. Uh, you can see the uh, flaps, um, they're made out of wood. Uh, there's four flaps. Uh, the mounting bracket, a little green piece there, uh, that, that was made here as well. Uh, that's made out of solid aluminum. Um, the tail plane was, uh, was built from scratch here. It's all wood uh, with Canadian Douglas fir uh, spars and uh, ribs. Again, the skin would be Norwegian birch, and it's been covered in a in a modern fabric. Here's a view of our uh, canopy. It's taken from the back. Um, the hole behind the canopy is where they store the uh, rubber raft and life preserver for the pilot and the navigator. Uh, the uh, green frame for the canopy uh, we, uh, we acquired from Australia and it's a genuine mosquito uh, frame. Uh, the bubble wim window and the clamshell window on the back, uh, we had uh, molds made and we've made new windows with uh, aviation uh, acrylic. Uh, all the windows are acrylic except for the ones in the front that are original bulletproof glass. Another view of the canopy uh, shows the uh, bubble window on the um, port side along with the vent window that uh, opens uh, for the pilot. Uh, you can just see a little bit of the uh, bulletproof glass in the upper left corner and the eyebrow window above that. Another view of the canopy showing the port side bubble window and a nice view of the vent window. Yeah, now we're getting a better view of the, uh, the armor glass on the front. Uh, these glass is uh, quite thick. I'm thinking about three inches or so. And here's a fine shot of the woodwork that had to be done uh, to raise the, the uh, hull uh, to match the canopy. Okay, here, here we have a, a nice shot of the uh, port wing. You can see the green on the end, which is a wingtip. The wingtips were removable on the Mosquito. Uh, they used to uh, use them for persuading the buzz bombs uh, to uh, go back out to sea, and consequently they'd get damaged, so uh, they would have to be replaced. Uh, the green is the actually uh, uh, the fabric that, that's on uh, that piece. The, the wing is covered with Norwegian birch, and you can see the leading edge uh, on the front. Underneath that is uh, his ribs, I believe there's 21 of them. Here's a view of the upper part uh, firewall with the throttle linkage torque tubes in place. Uh, the, the black uh, thermostat is uh, to the left of that. Um, the firewall and uh, the stringers that hold on the radiator up and the cross pieces are all made here, all done by print. Scanning across the top of the engine, um, we can uh, takes us out to the uh, surge tank 
uh, expansion tank for the cooling system on the Packard Merlin. The front view of the uh, radiator, this is on the port side again. Uh, the, uh, the bottom um, panel uh, is off at the moment. Uh, all of this was all made uh, here in the museum. Um, going back on the bottom of the radiator uh, is the door. A little bit hard to see because we have a safety bar in the way for you know, the stands that we work from. Uh, here, here's a little better photograph of that door. At the moment, it's uh, down. Um, it's quite unique on the Mosquito. The entry on the front is larger than the back, so the air going out, it creates a... a so this is the skin that goes over the radiator. It's on the same surface or plane as the wing is, right at the very top. And uh, um, it's made out of uh, 50 thou sheet metal. This little bump here is to help clear the uh, thermostat, which sticks up above the surface. Underneath, these are all ribs. These ribs help give it strength because it doesn't have that much support underneath. And right now, I'm putting all the holes in it that will mount it to the, uh, to the plane above the radiator. That's the finished piece. Okay. okay, tell us what's going on. Okay, so we're uh, boring the, the pivot bearing hole in the flap lever. And this is a new flap lever to replace a damaged one. Uh, and uh, this is for uh, the, uh, uh, I guess it's for the starboard flap. And, uh, and uh, this hole has to be, I have to make a pocket for a bearing.